Hello and welcome to a video on how to compute the equivalent resistance of several resistors that are in series. Equivalent resistance is an important concept because it allows us quite often to simplify circuits that we're analyzing and uh, on those simplified circuits we can then use things like voltage or current dividers um, or even Ohm's law to find uh, voltages or currents that we're interested in. So to begin, let's talk about what we mean when we say equivalent. So what I have here is a circuit and this green part in here, this is the rest of the circuit. The part that I'm really interested in though are these two resistors, uh, the one ohm and the two ohm resistor. Um, if I look at the voltage across the uh, combination of these two resistors and the current, that would give me a certain VI characteristic. That is, uh, it would relate the voltage and the current to each other. And if I want to take these two resistors and replace them by a single equivalent resistance, I can go over here. Again, I've got the rest of the circuit. I don't really care what's in the rest of the circuit because what I'm trying to do is set up the resistors so the rest of the circuit can't tell whether there's one uh, equivalent resistor or one 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistors in series. So anyway, uh, this equivalent resistance also has a particular VI relationship. That is, it creates a relationship between voltage and current. And in fact, in this case, we would know from Ohm's law that the voltage is the equivalent resistance times the current. So what we will do is um, come up with a relationship between the voltage and the current for uh, our series combination. And we'll discover that the relationship between voltage and current uh, looks kind of like this, except there's an expression that we'll be able to substitute in for our equivalent. So again, uh, just to make it clear, uh, a, an equivalent resistance is equivalent to two resistors in series if the rest of the circuit can't tell the difference between the two. And the rest of the circuit uh, can tell differences by voltage-current relationships. So if the two voltage-current relationships are the same, then the equivalent resistance and the series combination are the same. Okay, another thing that we need to say, just to make sure that it's clear, is that these two resistors are indeed in series. Okay, In series resistors, the current that flows through one resistor, so we can think of current coming down here. In fact, here we'll make our current orange. It flows through this resistor. It gets down here. There's no place for it to go except through the other resistor. So these two resistors are in series. If there was a component connected here, then these two resistors would not be in series. But since there's no other components connected between the two resistors, they are indeed in series. So let's find then the voltage current relationships for these two series resistors. If I write the voltage across one resistor, uh, I know from Ohm's law that V1 is going to be 1 ohm times the current. And uh, let's see, we'll find another color. If I write uh, this as the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor, I know again from Ohm's law that V2 is 2 ohms times the current. And I'll make the claim that V is equal to V1 plus V2. How do I justify that claim? Well, I can use uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law. So if I go through a loop, which in this case, the loop would be like this, and back up like this, I first pass through the potential difference across the 1 ohm resistor, V1, uh, then V2, and then I go through V, but I go from negative to positive. So I would end up 
here with v1 plus v2 minus v is equal to 0. And from that, I can easily get this relationship. So now if I plug in for v1 and v2, I have that um, v1, again, is 1 uh, ohm times i. And v2 is 2 ohms times i. And you can see I can uh, factor an i out of both of these terms. And I get then that, or I can write this as 1 ohm, whoops, let's uh, do that in the right color just to make sure, 1 ohm plus 2 ohms times i. Okay. So basically, what I've got here is this relationship here, this v is equal to through these chain of equalities to this, re to this expression here, is the voltage current relationship for my two resistors in series. Um, again, this guy up here is the voltage current relationship for my equivalent resistance. And you can see that if I call R equivalent, uh, let's see, where's a beautiful color we haven't used yet. If I call R equivalent the sum of 1 ohm plus 2 ohm, then I can say that uh, these two circuits would have the same VI relationship. So what this means then is that the equivalent resistance is 1 ohm plus 2 ohms which I guess we can work this out. This would be 3 ohms, right? So this is a very useful result. Um, it applies whenever resistors are in series. Uh, basically, the result is that the equivalent resistance of series resistors is the sum of the series resistances. So um, if I want to extend this, suppose that I have three resistors in series. I won't go through the derivation. Uh, let's call this guy R1, R2, and R3. I won't go through the derivation here, but it's easy to show using a derivation that's very similar to what we did for two resistors that R equivalent is just the sum of R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, so if I have four resistors in series, then the equivalent resistance is just the sum of the four resistances. So there you have it. Uh, working with series resistors is actually very easy. The only part that, in my experience, is difficult uh, for students that are just learning this is to always make or is to make certain that the resistors that they think are in series actually are in series. And in later videos, we'll work through some problems on uh, series resistors, and uh, I'll show you some of the places that typically trip people up. So that's the end of the series resistors uh, equivalence video, and thanks for watching.